Hello people of God, how are you doing? Today, I have another very interesting video to share with you. Basically, some people are trying to help God. Yeah, you heard me right. <laughs> some people are literally trying to help God do certain things and uh, you get to know exactly how uh, they feel that God needs some helping and uh, how they feel they can actually help God do certain things, you know? I'm a sucker for AI. Like, I love the new technology. I love where the world is going with AI and all of those innovations. And let me use this medium to advise if you've not incorporated AI or you're not already looking at how you can get to use uh, AI to enhance your work and make work a bit more effective, uh, I think you should start reconsidering. Is a whole lot of opportunity you're missing. AI is where the world is going and you should jump on it. So it's not a problem at all. <laughs> Even increasing the code is an advantage. And I don't believe that it is the devil doing all of these things. You know, when a new technology comes on board, there's a way people try to, you know, bring some conspiracy theory and all of that. No, AI is good. AI is good. I believe it's God's wisdom. It's God bringing all of this wisdom on the earth and uh, we should use it and we should be glad and thank God for it. It's a blessing. There's a whole lot of way that AI can even help us, you know, do our work church, you know, is a lot of advantage. I work a lot in content creation and media, multimedia. I've been reaching out to churches too on how uh, they can really use this uh, new wave of technology, AI and the likes, you know, to help their work. So basically, AI is good. I'm using it. But like you know, every invention of man has its good and bad side. In the hands of a good man, you know, inventions are awesome. They are useful tools for progress, for developing society, for making lives better. But in the hands of a bad man, inventions can be a great evil. It's like the gun, you know, the gun in the hands of a good man, the gun in the hands of somebody with good intentions is a tool uh, for protection, you know, it's a useful tool. But uh, in the hands of a bad person, in the hands of the one with uh, ulterior motives, evil intention, is a very dangerous tool. It becomes a tool for destruction. So that's the way uh, AI is too. And in this video, you will see that some persons really have uh, some horrible intentions and they're trying to use AI to help God, you know, <laughs> basically a certain organization thinks that um, the world religions, including Christianity, has uh, a lot of uh, defects and that uh, the world has evolved and they feel that religions should evolve and conform to the reality of the 21st century or you know, whatever. So. Uh, they want to use AI to rewrite the Bible to make it conform to the reality of the times. Yeah, basically, that is it. <laughs> so you see that this is really crazy and you see that they are literally trying to help God and they forget that uh, uh, the Bible contains the very word of God, the inspired word of God. So, of course, you can already tell that it is the devil that is inspiring all of that. So I just thought I should bring this to your attention. And in case they eventually get this Bible out, that is one Bible you should not read. Well, maybe you probably want to go check it out when it comes out, you know, just for the purpose of knowing exactly what they are about and what they are trying to even do with the Bible and how the Bible is eventually going to come out. You probably want to look at how well uh, they have been able to concoct their foolishness <laughs> because that's what I see it to be is actually foolishness in the highest order. We pray that their eyes will be opened because truly the God of this world has blinded their eyes like Paul would say, basically look out for this Bible and uh, you may want to ignore the Bible when it comes out eventually. Uh, you may want to see that one Bible you should never take uh, seriously. So let's check it out. Like I usually tell you, <laughs> I go, you know, everywhere uh, looking here and there to try to get uh, something, something that probably inspire me to create a content for you. And uh, so that's it. So this is a TikTok uh, content that I saw and I thought I should bring it to your attention. It's worth uh, looking at. So let's check it out. And uh, please remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel and like it. Don't just walk away without liking my videos. It helps the video to have a further reach if you like and even comments. Let's engage. You know, this is not a one-sided conversation. It's actually a conversation, you know. Let's engage in the comment section. Drop a comment and I would reply. You know, I'm always engaging you in the comment. Please do endeavor to drop your thoughts in the comment section because I know you would have thoughts. And share if you don't mind. That would be an extra favor. Share if if you do not mind. So let's check it out. Keep living the life. God bless you. I am so disturbed right now, you guys. Um, I just read a article where an organization is calling for AI to rewrite the whole Bible. Um, this is an organization that works with all the countries around the world and supposedly it is trying to make the world a better place. 
The name of this organization is called World Economic Forum, WEF for short. Uh, they envision a book that will unify and quote unquote have all religions be correct. That is so not the case, you guys. Um, the Bible tells us not to add or take away from it, much less recreate a whole new one. Um, this WEF envisions equality and inclusivism, uh, which is one dominant religion or kind of a, a mainstream religion with all the other religions being okay as well. So, you know, this world is just falling in its morals and values every single day. I pray that you guys stay strong in your faith, know your word, talk to others about Christ. Uh, we are living in the end times here. Um, I do want to suggest watching another video also about AI that I posted earlier today. It's called The New Ouija, and it's about a demonic entity speaking to a child through AI. It is an intelligent conversation where this entity will fully admit that its father is Satan in that it's a fallen angel. It's a wild, disturbing video to watch. Um, God bless you all and stay true to God. So guys, welcome to the channel. It's Nehuma Culture. Basically, we talk about faith and faith-related matters. Talk about church matters within Nigeria, in Africa, and all around the world. Faith matters, basically, that is what the channel is about. Uh, please jump on it. This is our little community, our little, you know, church. Like Christ, they say, where two, three are gathered, I am there, and indeed, it's a church. So come and join this little community and let's have uh, some really wonderful conversation.